Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I have my Invisalign on, so if I sound real, just ignore it, okay? We're trying to get straight our teeth. I've been doing this for like three years. I need to stay consistent, okay? But what we're really getting into today is going to be my everyday face routine. So I'm gonna be showing you exactly what is in my everyday makeup bag, nothing more, nothing less, just my everyday routine. I swear to you, it is easy, it feels good, it feels fresh and flawless, and it's super quick, full face, under 20 minutes. Lightweight, does not feel like it's melting off even in the summer heat. It's not like we're really doing much, but you feel me. So if you wanna see my little bland to baddie transformation, all my favorite tips, tricks, and products, then go ahead and keep on watching. My face that you see is right here in this bag, okay? If I need to go somewhere to get ready, if I need to stay the night somewhere, or like visit family or whatever, this is the bag that I will literally just grab and take with me because I know I will be able to get a fly fresh face out of this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and dump her out on the table here. I've had a lot of routines in my time. This is by far my favorite. First, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with brows. This is the Goop Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. This is in the shade number six. The thing about bangs is that they only look cute when you're ready. When you're not ready, you look like a toddler. Literally, all I do is do a light, light fill and outline. I literally do the least clean job because I know that I'm going to clean them up after. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and shape them up. This is the Huda Beauty Conceal and Blend Brush. And rather than using a thick concealer that's going to be gunked up in the eyebrows, I always use my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation because it goes on like skin, so you literally can't even tell the eyebrows are carved out because it looks like there's just skin and like you did a really clean job. Next, we're still working on brows because I just think brows are that important. This is the Patrick Ta Major Brow. This is the tinted version. I'm just gonna take that same spoolie from the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and then you wet the product right here, put the spoolie in it, and then we're gonna brush that through the eyebrows. This is what's gonna give us that real deal definition. And if you wanna use this without the brow pencil, that's also great. All that just to cover it up with bangs? Yes, absolutely. Next thing's next, I am gonna take the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation once again. This is my holy grail. I will not get over this. If Makeup Revolution wants to make me their spokesperson for this, I will absolutely say yes, because this is literally to die for. I'm in the shade Y355. It's just so good, it's so good, like it looks so damn good. Somehow I misplaced my Makeup Forever brush that I always use. You guys see me use this in every video I post on Instagram, every video I post on TikTok. I use that little buffing brush that says Makeup Forever on the end, it's like wooden. I cannot find it, I'm a little heartbroken, but I'm gonna use this Fenty Face and Body number 160 brush. It's a little big, so I'm a little concerned and I don't think it's as dense. Oh, it's not giving me the same vibe. When I brush it on with that other brush, it's like, <gasps> ooh. I'm just gonna pat this on with a sponge. It's so beautiful, you guys. It just looks like skin. It's so fresh, so glowy. I would say it's like a light to medium coverage, but I like to just put concealer where I need it. It just gives me an all over glow. Perfect, like perfect skin is what it looks like. Just in case the wind blows our bangs up, we still gotta look good. So this is probably one of the only things that changes in my routine. Sometimes I'll go in with my matchsticks first and then my cream bronzer, um, or I'll just use the cream bronzer by itself. It depends on if I'm in a hurry or not. If I'm in a hurry, I'm all about the cream bronzer. If I'm not in a hurry, I'll just do a little bit of matchsticks before, just to kind of set the tone. And this is in the shade Mocha. I just like to go a little bit above my cheekbone, so that way when I blend it up, it looks nice and snatched. I used to do concealer first, and then contour or then, you know, bronzer or whatever I'm gonna do. 
I'm telling you, if you do the bronzer first and the concealer second, it looks magnifique, okay? It looks so good. It's just so, mm, mm. And this is the Fenty 125 face brush. This little brush that's really good for nose contour is from AOA Studio. I believe this is Shop Miss A, the dollar makeup brand. I believe that's who sent these to me. It came in like a little kit. Then going in with macchiato, she's real messy because I use her literally every day. Even if you're not wearing makeup, this really comes in handy because it blends right in with your skin, super soft. Super blendable. Mm. It just makes everything flow. Hello? This is 2020 Healthcare Central. We looked through our records and noticed you submitted a request in the past for- So this may not look like much now, but wait until I hit it with the concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And oh, we're about to just be real snatched right now. So I'm gonna focus a little bit on the side of the nose so that, we, that can get cleaned up. I don't like to go too far on the nose because whenever we blend it, it's gonna go in anyways. And then right over here, draw everything up. I also like to do a little bit on the sides of my mouth because I do have discoloration, a little bit right here. Just this amount of concealer right here makes it look like we have no coverage to damn near full coverage. It covers any little imperfections, any spots that you don't like. Then I like to go in with macchiato again, but on the nose. And this will just really add a bit more definition. Like I said in my 90s makeup routine, I like to do like a little ball on the end of my nose. It just gives it a little bit more shape because I don't have that. I have like a bigger ball and it makes it look like I have a little nose tip. The other day I came in with like a super snatched nose into my daughter's room. They were going to bed and I was tucking them in um, and I was just putting makeup on in my room or whatever. I went to go check and see if they were asleep and Kenzie goes, mom, why does your nose look like that? It looks like pointed. I'm like, mm-hmm. Say less, okay. I knew this routine was it, okay. I just knew. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Strawberry Drip Cream Blush. I was using the Glossier Cloud Paint and Puff, which is a little bit lighter, like a lighter pink. This one is more of a flushed rose, and I love it. It looks so good. Make sure to go really high up, or this is at least what I do, this is what I like, to go really high up on the cheekbone. That way, it's like right there. It gives you like a plump, refreshed, happy look, you know, even if you're not. I do set just a bit on the side of the nose to snatch it just a little bit more. This is the Fenty setting powder. It's so strong, it's like, <coughs> like really gets in there. And we'll just snatch that in just a little bit more. Just a little bit. And then now that I have such a small amount of powder, I can take just a little bit also underneath the eyes without making them too matte. This is definitely optional depending on, like I said, how fast I'm getting ready, but I usually like to do it because I just think it looks real good and it makes my eyes look real snatched. I like to use the Fenty Fly Liner just because it's in the form of a pen, so it makes it so fast and easy and it's like really compact. I don't have to like worry about dip, 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 dipping. So this is just my everyday liner. And I make a tiny wing, okay you guys? Get ready for this tiny wing. See how my eyes just look a little bit more elongated? I'm gonna take that up just a little bit of an extra notch by doing an inner corner wing as well. That is literally my favorite thing. Like I feel like I can't even do a regular wing without doing the inner corner as well. See how our face is literally transformed? Like the shape of it, 
the whole look is just completely different, but still us, you know what I'm saying? It's just us, but upgraded. I'm gonna go ahead and curl the lashes. Definitely just pull the lash out. Oops. And then I'm gonna take the ABH Lash Brag Mascara. Definitely focusing on the ends of the lashes so that way, once again, it elongates eyes. It's the same thing that we do with half lashes or accent lashes where we add lashes just to the ends, which I love to do, but I don't do like on an everyday basis. Do you guys like that I make direct eye contact with you while I do this? That's how I feel now when I'm at the store wearing a mask and you try to be like nice and you know how you usually like, you know, you kind of smile at people at the store, try to be nice, try to be friendly. But now it's like I'm staring at people in the produce section. Like you're trying to grab an apple and I'm just like, cause you don't know what's going on down here. Look at, you have no idea. I really cannot believe that I'm out here with no lashes. Like I was so addicted to lashes and I still, don't get me wrong. If I do a look, I still like lashes. I still love lashes, but I've been posting pictures on Instagram with no lashes and that might sound so stupid to some of you. Like I never wear lashes. <laughs> well, some of us are addicted, okay? It's an addiction to lashes. What makes such a difference in my entire look and my entire face is lips. So right now you can see I got some little crusties, you know, just some little lacking pigment, you know, just some little lips. This is the Huda Beauty Last Night Lipstick. Oftentimes, yes, I would use a liner, but I really love this shade and I just think it's a little bit faster as well. For the center of the lips, I have the Milani Rose Butter Lip Mask. And yes, I am wearing a lip mask all day long. I love lip masks. I don't even use chapstick. I always use like a lip treatment or a lip mask. This one is a gorgeous, look at that, milky pink shade. So you're getting the benefits of wearing a lip mask. And it also looks glossy and beautiful. This is literally what I wear every day. It's so good, it's just so good. Um, sometimes I will also add, where is she? I will add the Fenty Beauty Cheeky Lip Gloss to the center and that just gives me like that popsicle lip kind of effect, just a little bit. Just gives you a little, look at that. You see that? Just gives me a little bit of that like bitten center of the lip look. This looks so good in pictures, it looks so good. Like if you pay attention to what you like about yourself in pictures, or like what you feel looks like better when you throw a filter on it or whatever. Pay attention to those things and you can adjust the way that you do your makeup to make it pop more in real life. So you like certain angles of yourself where your contour pops more, your cheekbones pop more or whatever, your lips look fuller if you do this face or this face or whatever. Try implementing that into your makeup routine and making it more enhanced so that way you're walking around looking like Instagram, like I'm just walking around here looking like a selfie right now. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments if you have tried any of these products or if you're going to, let me know how they work for you. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Press on ASMR.